Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3 A to Z. Today we get to come back to this stupid little region in the middle of Africa. It's not actually stupid, that was mean. But we get to come back to basically where we started. The second nation we ever played was uh, Acholi up here, and now we get to play Encoli. I, I hope you're seeing the similarities here and it's not just flying over your head. So, at least, okay. I assume it's pronounced Acholi because that's what online said, so if it's wrong, don't get mad at me. I'm very sensitive, I will cry if you yell at me in the comments. But anyway, back to whatever it is, we gotta we gotta strategize. So, we've been in this region before, so we have a little bit of a game plan to go off of. The game plan, since all of this is basically one big state, we need to conquer our neighbors, so we gotta go militaristic right off the bat. Unfortunately, uh, our technology is terrible. We have nothing. Basically, the worst possible technology you can almost get. We're technologically advanced enough to be able to afford to build a barracks. It's, it's great, it's great. All right, so I'm going to meet immediately into line infantry. Um, do we have any buildings whatsoever here? We have none, okay? So, we should probably start off with some farms and stuff. At least get some production going. We have no possible urban buildings to build at all. So, this is going to be rough. Okay, cool, I love it. Let's start with the millet farm and the livestock ranch, and then we will go from there. Let's see about our politics, any laws we can pass. Oh damn, there are are no laws that can even be passed. We have all the default, even, we have debt slavery? Can I ban slavery yet? Uh, we could maybe, but probably not. Okay, I mean, that's not, that's not terrible. Debt slavery is better than legacy slavery, I think. Uh, we have, we have nothing. There is nothing to work with here. So, damn, this is gonna suck. Okay, can we build our military up and immediately go conquer some people? That's what I need to see. We'll do that first. I think that might be the path. Then we go down and conquer Karagui down here. That'll be our first target. And honestly, okay, okay. So we start off with three battalions. They start off with two. We could maybe immediately fight them, I think. Let's see, conquer state down here. No one's gonna get involved with anything. Buganda might. So let me improve relations with Buganda a little bit first. And then taxes, military wages are gonna go up and I'll just turn these taxes down just so we can get some loyalists and get the standard of living a little bit higher. And then cue both of these barracks is here first. That way we have enough military to fight Karagawi. And hopefully we can actually make this work well. I'm gonna improve relations with them as well because I want Buganda to like us. I don't want them to hate us. That would be bad because they are the strongest one down here with their whole like 10 battalions. Okay, so they can get some conscripts. How many conscripts can I pull if I need to? Looks like two. Okay, that's fine. That'll work because we need to take over these guys immediately, basically. They've got 18 mil power. I've got 26, so that's better. Can I do any mobilization stuff whatsoever? No, nothing at all. Excellent, okay, okay. Let me check the buildings on this and see if they're actually hiring people. Looks like they are, and the standard of living is increasing. So we have 300 loyalists. Okay, no, the loyalists are going up. That's good. Okay. Our GDP kind of going up, I think? We do have a birth rate, so that's good. All right. As soon as we get to cordial relations with Buganda, I think we attack Karagawi. Now, what state is this? State in Karagawi, Rwanda. How do I see the actual state? I don't actually know if I can do that. We will figure that out when we get there. Do I have any decrees? I can do at the meantime. Social mobility, absolutely. We gotta get our, well, I would say our technology, technology, that is not a word, technology spread up, but I don't think there's any technology to be spread. So yeah, screw us, I guess. Okay, so the millet farm's going. The barracks is unable to hire, which could be a problem in the future. They got 20 military power and they got 33. So I should be winning this. Buganda is cooperative towards us. So they view us as a natural ally, which means we can probably take out Kuragawi. And okay, so they have sympathies for me, but they also have more sympathies for Kuragawa. So we'll improve here just a little Little bit more before we go balls to the walls. All right, is this gonna actually be able to produce anything? I don't think it is. Yeah, we're losing money on that. That's epic. Cause it's probably cause we don't have any urban centers to use said stuff. So it's just producing goods for people. Though our prestige has gone up. We are no longer the 202nd worst power in the world, which is a good thing. I'm happy with this. All right, uh, and that tenant farming. Okay.
okay. Let's do it. If they have that much support, let's do it. I, we can get off serfdom this early. That'll be good for us. I thought the landowners had power. Oh, all the, the landowners lost all their power. How did that happen? How did that happen? Did all the people stop working here? No? Huh. Works for me, though. Government. Can I reform government for more? We'll do it later, I think, once we get tenant farmers gone. All right, so they're cordial with us now, which means I think we can just go ahead and conquer this state. Mmm, still minus 35. Mmm, I'm so iffy. They might just decide to, like, attack me. I don't think they want my state, though, is the thing. But they're just, they're too powerful. If they get involved, I'm dead. Mmm. Maybe we let the relations build a little bit more, because I don't think Karagui is going to get a bigger military built up. Nightman success chance, or landowners pop attraction. We'll just do this top one, and now it's 100%. Easy. GDP is going up. Is there anything else we should build? I don't know. Let's build a logging camp. I don't think we have any use for it yet, but... All right, so meat's expensive, but fabric is not. So whenever we're able to build a clothing workshop, we will be good. Can I do any export routes at this point? No, I cannot. Mm, we are super limited in what we can do down here. Rwanda's got seven. Ooh, that's bad for me. But can they man them though? It looks like they are manning them. That is kind of sad for me. What is our total population? Oh, it's like double mine. It's population down here. They are starving to death. Okay, so I need to take them out. What about Burundi down here? Okay. And then it looks like, okay, so these guys we can take out. So we'll hit Kiragawi and then Bunyoro and then maybe a Choli in the future the population so the population is what we need to roll over so once we take all those out we can push down push down and then take out Buganda last I think this will work why did my relations with Buganda go down what happened I don't know what happened but I guess it's fine still cooperative with us they're still neutral why are they neutral they they were cordial with us at one point I don't know what happened at least the standard of living is going up so that's good for us tenant farm Farming is done, so let me check and see. Should I reform the government? Probably. I'd love for the armed forces to like us and get that extra 10% offense before we do this, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. We could go back to serfdom. I don't want to do that. We're gonna do this. We could move down to racial segregation. Tite Bourgeois would be upset about that, so we won't do that yet. We can move back to consumption-based taxes, which I don't really want to do. I could move to homesteading already. Screw it, let's do it. Landowners are about to be marginalized, so I don't really care what they have to say. The devout petition the government for slavery banned. Yes, I will 100% do that, actually. I'd love to do that immediately, actually. Dang, our standard of living's almost at 10. That's really good for this early and being all the way down here. Okay, so that gets our birth rate up, which is really good. And Buganda's back to liking us, so it seems like it's never mind. It is no longer now or never. It is just never, apparently. Okay, so that shot my plan in the face uh what about okay le relations had to be less than cordial oh i see what was happening i was improving relations with the wrong person i'm smart i'm smart okay so we just got cucked pretty big time i'm gonna be honest hmm maybe it's worth it to be good relations with bunyoro i don't know what's gonna do for me but i guess i'll let them improve relations up here hmm so buganda let's look at this breakdown ideological differences between me and Nkoli. They have sympathy and they're genial towards Karagawi. That is a problem for me. That is an actual big problem. Maybe if I can get them as an alliance partner in the future, I'll be able to do that. Maybe military won't be the path. We're going to have to think about a way. Okay, so manufactories. Maybe, okay, maybe instead of that, let's hit manufactories first. We'll work on our military later. We'll let mandatory service go next. Go back up to line infantry. After that, let's get some of our economy built built up first. Uh, what's this? Okay. Progresses by one phase. Interest group approval. Don't care about your interest group because your interest group is ass and is almost marginalized. And honestly, it might just be marginalized once we get this done. And then the devout will have all the power, which I'm actually okay with because they usually like healthcare laws. Let's see. Healthcare. Oh yeah. Public, oh, public health insurance. They would love it. I'd love to get down to that. Actually, that would be really, really nice for us. We got to build up our population. At this point, we're just going to wait for a relation with Buganda to go up more. We want them to really like us. So they're genial, but they're also genial towards Karagui, which means that they would support them in a potential fight. Ah, that's such a problem for me. Mill power is 37. There's a 74. If I can beat them to line infantry, I can probably take out Rwanda, but I'd also
also have to check down here to make sure... Okay, home settings done. Buganda just wants to keep everything as is. So I gotta get good relations with them. Otherwise, they're just gonna get involved in all of my affairs. And they would absolutely trounce us. We got an agitator. He... What are you gonna agitate for? You are an authoritarian in armed forces. So maybe I can get you to agitate for professional army, maybe? Uh, what laws should we move to next? I think... All right, wait. So we already have no migration controls. That's good. That's really good. Then let's move on to slavery ban because we've apparently gotten super lucky with our interest groups and what they want. Interest group attraction or approval. We'll take attraction because a strong armed forces could be really beneficial for us. Uh, what do I even build at this point? We've got a lot of infrastructure because of a river. Hmm. What do we build? I don't know what to build at this point. I can't afford a construction sector and even if I could, what is there to build? I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting game. All right, law progressed. That's good. Maybe we just get a bunch of like basic stuff. I'm just going to get one of everything. That way we have it because our infrastructure should be fine. We got to get manufacturing down. We got to start getting some of these. Start building those. That'll help our economy go really, really nice. And then in theory, we should be able to get our standard of living up, which will increase the birth rate, which will give us more people in order to fight wars with. As the problem we have right now is that everyone's got more population than we do and that's a problem we're in brainstorm mode on how to get out of this situation we got super lucky on this dude being an abolitionist all right so birth rate wait birth rate does get buffed by wait i didn't know that why is that hold on wait do different regions of interest groups give different things hold on i'm learning something new is this guy gives plus 10 offense and defense and this gives plus five birth rate unless that's changed but maybe it's just like different like regions regions of the world have different buffs per... Maybe I'm tripping, maybe I'm tripping, but I think... Discovered something. All right, government petition successful, which means our legitimacy is like through the roof. Um, We could go down to racial segregation, which honestly, sure, let's do it. Including more pops would be nice, though we're probably not gonna get any people in. We're not eligible for mass migration. What do we need? I don't think we have enough arable land for it. Let me check. No, we definitely don't. We got a few people hired everywhere it seems our standard of living is almost at 11 though we're number 24 in the world this early on number nine in the world actually scratch that okay so standard of living is just amazing here which is going to get our birth rate up if only we could get some migration that would be excellent all right there's manufacturing so screw you don't i don't care uh we're gonna start off with a textile mill i think and then probably after that a food industry let me go here clear some of this out there we go we'll start on textile mill and then hopefully that'll give more people ability to get jobs but i don't i think it's just unemployment is too high we don't have enough people and i can't attack these guys yet hmm. cut through the rope buganda still wants to get involved in any play that i make mm, they're minus four which technically speaking they should just stay out of it but I don't trust that. They're gonna offer them some sort of war goal. They're gonna offer to like conquer my state or something and then they're gonna get involved. And I'm gonna be very, very sad. So maybe once this gets up to 50, we'll be able to act. We're just number seven in standard of living for some reason down here. Uh, we'll hit that. Why is a stall chance so high? The devout, what? Oh, the devout. Never mind, never mind. I was thinking I was passing slavery stuff. This is not slavery. This is racial segregation, which I guess is kind of linked in. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a little linked, so that's not that bad of a jump in brain logic. All right, public address goes the right thing. We're just stalling on everything. Maybe that'll do it, or maybe it won't. We'll have to find out. Okay, it's on to adoption. So this honestly has a pretty good chance of passing. If not, it's not a big, big deal because I don't think we have any discriminated cultures down here. But but that would be helpful in the long run. All right, so these guys are almost at 30, not 30, 50. I can count. Once I get up to there, we're going to check and see if they'd still be willing to fight against me if I tried to take Karagawi. Only 20 military power, and I've got 43. So in theory, I should be able to beat them pretty handedly. But unfortunately, that just is only in theory because this game likes to throw curveballs and excess chance. Ugh. Okay, maybe we don't get it, but maybe we do. Maybe we get lucky. 
I'm very interested to see if this textile mill will be able to produce or not. The reason I say it probably will is because this is super cheap in our market. Fabric is super cheap. So maybe that means that these guys will be able to make clothes really easily. You know, am I, am I psychotic for thinking that? I don't think so. We'll, we'll see. Two weeks, one weeks, zero weeks. All right, let's see how they're able to hire. We probably don't have enough qualifications if I had to guess. Yeah, they're not going to be able to hire. Oh, no, no, there they go. There they go. We'll see what happens. Okay, still hiring. Not bad. Okay, okay. So fabric, they're using the fabric to actually make stuff, which is good. All right, so now they're about even. So does that mean that these are going to become more profitable? Okay, they're more profitable now. Also, we are at 50 relations with Buganda. So let's see if we're able to conquer this state. Really? <sighs> Why? You dick, you are ruining everything. Genial sympathy. They just, they hate me. Relations. What are your relations with them? Huh? 50-50? Uh, um, but I thought mine were also 50-50. You dick, you just like them more than me. All right, well, this is a problem for us. All right, racial segregation. And did our flag change? I can't remember. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm tripping. Okay, so we're kind of just stuck for a bit, it seems like until I can just get some technology passed, build up my population because Buganda wants to screw me and I can't fight Rwanda yet because I just have more troops than I do. And even if I were to go down here, Buganda still favors them. Acholi. Buganda does not favor them though, but I wouldn't be able to fight them. Ah, this sucks. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we might just be sitting here for a hot minute until our population can grow enough to have enough people to invade. The barracks have has people, which is good. Gotta get our literacy rate up. So here's what I'm thinking now. Screw this. We move to society. We try to get education access. We try to get, you know, our people's lives to be better. We're gonna go for medical degrees and education access so that we can get more technology faster. And hopefully the way it works in my brain is that should work. So freedom conscience, religious schools. So we'll try to pass religious schools as soon as rational is done. We'll try and help it along because my pops are kind of wealthy, so they should have decent access to education. If we can get the education up, we can get our technology spread higher, which doesn't really help us all that much, to be honest, because everyone around us is stupid as rocks, but maybe, maybe. All right, well, I guess it's time to see if the tooling workshop is going to get done or not. One week's not tooling workshop. God, I'm dumb. It's the fucking food industry. Okay, so we it's cheap, so food will be a little bit more expensive, so this should be able to produce some stuff, I think. Our pop growth is okay right now. It seems to be better than our neighbors, but is it better than Buganda? No, it's not better than Buganda. Buganda's gonna grow stronger than we can, which is a problem for me. I gotta get allied to these guys or something. All right, there's rationalism, so let's see if we can pass schools. Yep, religious schools, let's go immediately for that. Then we just go on to academia, I think. I'd love to get the medical degrees. That would be phenomenal, but I don't know how reasonable that's gonna be. Popular playwright. We'll just take the enactment success chance, I think, because the prestige isn't really gonna do much for us, because there's no one to really, you know, flaunt our prestige to, so what are we even gonna do with that? Mm. Standard living drop. That's interesting. Uh, this was able to hire 50 people. Cool. Fun. So I think we build the last tooling work shop and then we maybe just chill for a bit. We don't really have any other methods that would benefit. Oh, oh, okay. No, we could do this. So 500 less laborers and we use tools instead. So once the tooling workshop's done, I'm going to switch over to harvesting tools so that in theory, some people can go get jobs elsewhere and boost our economy up. We have exactly one radical in the entire country. <laughs> That's excellent. And it's uh, probably a landowner. Where are you? All right. Religious school's done. Can I invest in the institution? I cannot, but that will boost our literacy rates, which will help us research. We just have one dude who is just, huh, it's an industrialist. 
list. A single industrialist is radical. Oh, and now he's dead. So we have no radicals, and we still have minus three industrialist approval with no radicals. He's so unradical. Oh, now he's back, and he's dead. They shot him. Rest in peace, soldier. You will be missed. Okay, tooling workshop done. I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting and see if this will boost the tooling workshop demand. Nope, looks like not. So that's great. GDP goes up a little bit. Just a little bit. We're in such a weird predicament right now. Let me check and conquer state. Nope, they'd still get involved. Rwanda, they might get involved. And Burundi, they would not get involved. But I can't reach Burundi. So, yeah, that's fun. All right, so tooling workshop has about 100 people. What is the demand for tools in my market? Zero. Okay, so, okay. That works for me, I guess. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is becoming more productive. Okay, okay, nice. I got a thousand people here. Literacy rates up to 15% and France is bankrolling me. Why? Um, okay, I'll take it, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. All right, so we got gunsmithing now. Interesting. I might go ahead and queue up an arms industry just for later then, because we're eventually going to have to move to line infantry. And line infantry requires guns. I guess we'll go around and check on our neighbors. Uh, 16 literacy rate. Buganda's at 15. These guys are at 16. They're 15. And they're 15. So I am nothing special on literacy rate. That's depressing. That makes me sad. What's the birth rate on all of our neighbors? Population. Oh, they're okay. So they're negative. Um, they're plus 700. These guys down here are plus. Okay, so they're about on par with us. It seems like. Yeah. Okay. And then Bonyoro. Okay, so it looks like we will be able to outpopulate a lot of our neighbors, but not Buganda. We won't be able to do Buganda until we can conquer some states. And we can't conquer some states until Buganda is... I don't even know what we need to do at this point. Maybe find a way to... Man, they'd get involved. That's so sad. It's really screwing me over right now, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, actually our literacy rate is shooting up quite a bit faster now. We've beat Buganda in literacy rate. We've beat Bunyoro in literacy rate. Um, We're beating... Looks like all of our neighbors... Okay, not Karagui, but... Yep, Karagui is the only one we're not beating in literacy rate. Are, do they have a school system? Let me see. Um, no schools. So we will beat all of these guys in literacy rate eventually, which should mean we'll be more technologically advanced than they are. <sighs> do I go for line entry? Would it be beneficial or not? I don't know. Iron. We got no iron in the market. I can't import it from anywhere, so that's kind of depressing. We need thick wood, so I I guess we'll produce some thick wood. Boom. All right, that'll fix that. We don't have any iron. Okay, so we'll be able to get iron later once we conquer some of these southern states, but not yet. Population. We gotta get our population higher. That is our limiting factor right now. Our population is not large enough to field a big enough military to fight our neighbors. Let me say they're gonna have a million population, and that's going to be very rough for us to deal with. We'd be able to wrangle up a million population in the south here, we just, I don't know. How do I get them to not attack me if I attack one of my neighbors? That is a big question that must be asked. There's no job seekers. Hmm. What is this event? Force him to step down. What'd he do? He's a devout. All right, so there's academia done. Sure, whatever, that's fine. All right, GDP's shooting up pretty hard. I need to get the standard of living high again to increase the birth rate. Hmm, any laws, any laws, any laws. I cannot pass any laws yet. Still a minor problem, but that is all it is. It's just a minor problem. Uh, I wish I could do something about my money income, but I really can't. I'm paying out as much as I possibly can at the moment. I, if I built a construction sector, I'd go bankrupt. Maybe I could get away with a university? Hmm. Earnings. Maybe? Try it. Okay, so we're passing up all of our neighbors on literacy rate by quite a lot. That means that we will become more technologically advanced than they do in the long run. So I will be able to beat them technologically later. Only thing is now, how do I get my population high enough to really be able to do anything about it? I'm not getting any people from migration because there's no unilateral market because nobody can make a market because we don't have the technology to do so. We've got bureaucracy researching and we have medical degrees soon enough. Mine shaft, I can't do that yet because I don't have 
any resources to mine, so it wouldn't even matter if I had that. So many peasants. <sighs> Looks like the peasants are becoming laborers, so okay, that's good. So we're running out of peasants slowly, they're getting education access, and they're going into other jobs, which is quite good for me, to be honest. We're gonna have to rely on a lot of these institutions to actually get out of this mess that we've found ourselves in. I'd love to take charity hospitals just to get a little bit more standard of living, but what I'd really like to do is take public health insurance because that one is so, so good. It's so strong. Paper, 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 paper is expensive. That's, is that gonna be a problem? Hmm, dang, everyone's becoming clerks. Is this gonna bankrupt me? Hold on, everyone's leaving the others to go join the university. Mm, I don't want that. I need my economy to do well. I need peasants to become them. They're not. It's just all the educated people are going to the university, so we're going to get rid of it. It's not worth it. Go back to your other jobs. I can't have all of you be working there. Yeah, standard of living dropped. I, I know, I know. It's fine. You all tried to rush over and get a different job, and you got fired. Now go get rehired. Please, thank you. I need these peasants to become actual laborers. All right, there's cotton gin. So I guess I'll build one of those since the throughput bonus will be better. Standard of living is going back up. Oh, Buganda is no longer willing to join them in a battle. Burundi might, though. Mm, do we bank on it? <sighs> Minus 29. They'd rather stay neutral. They have so much sympathy for Kuragawi, and it's really gonna hurt me if they get involved. Actually, it will probably kill me if they get involved. Though, they probably won't demand my only state. I feel like maybe. You see where the brain power's going? So, what's my military at? We're at 47. Kuragawi, 23. Hmm, are there any laws that we can pass that the military forces would like? There are zero, okay. That's a minor problem but so burundi down here might get why do you have 16 battalions sir that's so much how are you doing that huh oh i see you forced all your peasants to not be peasants anymore maybe i'll try that maybe i'll try that let's do that let's force the peasants to not be peasants and then they'll get actual jobs and something like that'll happen though i will also say they do have like double our population so that probably has something to do with why they're able to afford that many troops Dang, my population sucks compared to like everything else. All right, we're just gonna try and get rid of all the arable land, force the peasants out of peasantry, and hopefully that works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll try it. Okay, sweet. We have snagged medical degrees. Let's see, what else do I want to do technology-wise? Um, hmm, we'll do... Man, I don't even know what to do. Let's do urban planning. Urban planning will be good in the future. Um, okay, so now laws and health system let's knock out charity hospitals yep let's do that so let's get some sort of health care going for our people get our standard of living up a little bit more which should increase the birth rate even further which will be very very nice as it stands we've been reducing the amount of arable land which has been increasing our overall productivity i probably should have done that before to be honest i should know this by now i've got 800 hours in this game i i should know this okay so people are getting actual jobs which is buffing the GDP, grassroots support for the law. That's excellent. We can get more loyalists or more enactment success chance. It's going to pass regardless. So let's just take this bottom one. Uh, sweet. So that gives us a ton of extra free approval on everybody, which is going to be very, very nice to pass any laws that maybe people don't like. That also our GDP slightly. We're running out of peasants, which is really good. And then soon we'll build up a few more barracks. And in theory, we should maybe be able to take them out soon as it looks like they're no longer willing to help them But I want to build up a military just a little bit more first Uh, popular player let's, Do I take the prestige? Sure, might as well That's 26 prestige That'll be fine Okay, give it just a little bit more time The vineyard will be done And then we'll build five more barracks Hopefully they can hire I think they'll be able to hire But in theory In theory We build up our barracks Uganda doesn't attack us when we try to take them out uh, we have bureaucracy now. Okay, so that's cool. Government admin building... 
more technologies and max law enforcement. That's fine. Okay, cool. So yeah, in theory, we take out this one because once we take out Karagawi, we can take out the other two easily. I think they've got 16 battalions. The Rwanda has eight, but they've got two. Like I say, just the extra population should be enough to really help us. Also, access to iron will be really good once we get line infantry. Hopefully this all works out like it is in my head. If it does, I will be in really good shape. Okay, we'll see how well the barracks are able to hire. Looks like they're actually able to hire pretty well. Okay, I'll take it. GDP is shooting up. I like to see that. And standard of living is also shooting up. I like it. Growth rate is still about the same. We've almost got charity hospitals, which will help our standard of living even further. Discord with the rural folk. We'll do enactment success chance on that one. All right, is this barracks hiring? It is hiring. Dang, I was not expecting to be able to hire that quickly, but it's working very, very well. All right, cool. Yeah, building up the farmland is definitely the play. I should have done that right from the beginning. I don't know what I was thinking, but hey, a lesson learned. I'm gonna check the literacy rates on all our neighbors. Looks like we have a pretty sizable lead on them. I say sizable, but it's only a few percentage points. And there is our health institution minus mortality and standard of living goes up. Love to see it number 13 in the world for that. And pop growth is a little bit higher. So now we're making 4K. Once this gets up to like, okay, so we're at seven. 7k, no, 8k, 66 power, and we have cannons. Hmm, should we do anything with that? We need a general on these guys. We'll just take a devout dude. He should be able to do it just fine. Maybe we build a cannon. I don't have any, no. Let's do a hussar, I think. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do five of them. Cavalrymen will be quite good. All right, so they're only two battalions, and I am eight now. Let's see the breakdown. Will someone get involved? If I try to do this, it really doesn't look like it, except for Bunyoro. But Bunyoro is weak. They're 48 and 23 combined. I am 69. Nice. I'm fairly certain I could easily beat these guys in a battle. <sighs> let me let me build up just a little bit more, and I think I'll be ready to go. You know what? Screw it. I'm ready to go now. It's now or never, baby. Let's do it. What if I what if I did this one? Kuragawi. Yep. Yeah, so it's just those two. We'll do the south one because it's less likely to get involved, but still maybe about negative 40 seems like they won't. I'm confident I can do this. Let's do it. We're gonna mobilize. I'm gonna send them to the front. We should win that. I don't think anyone will get involved. No one's leaning one side or the other. Don't ruin my day, please. I'd be very sad. Oh, we might get it actually. I'm gonna keep improving relations with them. I don't wanna, oh, they're improving relations with me. Ooh, okay. That's quite good actually. Wait, 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 wait. Do they view us as a natural ally? They do, let's go. That'll be their mistake in the future. Trust me. They should absolutely punish, 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 punish is not a word. Can I speak English? No, I cannot. They're, they should absolutely dogpile me right now because they don't know what's coming. I know what's coming. They don't have any idea what's coming. All right, we got lucky on the first one, or maybe we didn't. Maybe we just got normal, uh, normal shenanigans. All right, 9v3. Uh, hopefully we crush them one battle and we don't take needless casualties. They're taking more dead than I am. So yep, yeah, we got this now. I want to end this war quickly with as few casualties as possible on both sides because, okay, so it looks like I actually killed all of them that's okay that's all right we can finally expand which is just great we've needed to do that for a while now all right so we just gotta wait for this to go down shouldn't take us that long actually it seems like yep we just chill on it for now then easy conquest finally that took way too long to get to the point where we could do we probably could have done it right at the beginning if i'm honest but i didn't want to risk it because no resets in victoria 3a to z none at all if i die i die and you'll get to see it one attempt one attempt. All right, peace deal, done. Now, this is gonna be a different state, so we're gonna incorporate that, and now we're gonna throw some decrees on it as well. Social mobility and agriculture, and maybe enlistment efforts too? Sure, why not? Training rate up. There's no real reason not to. All right, so how many... Yeah, there's a lot of radicals in that state now, but I do now have access to iron mines, but I have not invented shaft mining yet so i cannot use it yet that's okay i got 13 battalions now cool 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 now does that mean i can take out bonyoro now mm, we're cordial why are we cordial they're improving relations with me that is a problem i'm gonna 
expel the diplomats and let the infamy drain for a bit. Actually, maybe I don't even wait for the infamy to drain a bit. Okay, um, no one would get involved. Great Britain might, but they're not going to do anything. Burundi might, but I think I can beat Burundi. Let's do it. How many troops do they have? Only four. Let's do that as well. Get it knocked out. We got to conquer all these guys as soon as possible. All right, so now our military is 13k. We'll mobilize them, send them to the front. I don't think anyone's going to get involved. We're solid. We are incredibly, incredibly solid. And we're finally spending all the money we've been stockpiling. Excellent. All right, so stop damaging relations with them. Now, I believe the good thing about this is that if we conquer this uh, province from them, then that state is part of this state and will already be incorporated. Then we don't have to do extra work. Also, it shoots our population up quite a bit. There's an extra 259,000 here. That might give us the highest population in the region. I think it would. All right, two arms, blast them away. Okay, the radicals are dropping over here, which is quite nice, if I do say so myself. It's no arable land. Looks like it's just, yep, just the barracks. All right, so they're losing that battle. 13v5, we'll win this with very few bits of bloodshed, and I like to see what we got going. Literacy rate shooting up, actually. That's really, really nice. Kill them, blast them. Cultures, we're accepting of everyone. That's good. No discrimination, debuffs. And another one bites the dust. There's urban planning. Uh, now, what do we want to do? Centralization? Mm, probably. All right, you're gonna give in? Excellent. And this is all one state, no incorporation needed. One million GDP has been achieved. Let's go. Now, what is in this state? Okay, dang, we'll just steal all of their manufacturing plants. We got a few more radicals than I would really like, but with increased standard of living for these guys, it should drop off fairly soon. And our military is up to 13, so one 18. Can I take out this next state? Rwanda. What about a Choli? France might, but they're not there enough. Marina Kingdom might, but they also can't reach. How many troops does a Choli have? They have 12. Hmm, that's more than I want to fight. Rwanda has 8. Burundi has 16. And Buganda has 14. Buganda has not the most. I'm kind of shocked about that, to be honest. Uh, why is that dropping back down? Arable land. Alright, so there's another 10k people who we need to get into the workforce. We might just have to chill for a second and let our military strength build back up. 123, what's Rwanda's? 92. Damaging relations, faith knows no borders. Uh, what do we do? We'll do this one. Consumption-based taxation. I don't really want to do that, though. I'd lose out on some money, and I'd like my money. I am, I am shallow. I remember, I very like money. We're fluctuating between a million and not a million GDP. That's okay. Might start improving relations with Great Britain, and I'm going to expel these diplomats. And then I probably just sit and wait for Infamy to drop a little bit. They've got eight troops. Hmm. I kind of want to upgrade my military before going back to war because I'd like to crush everybody quickly. That is the theory. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving down the line infantry, and then once I hit line infantry, should be alright. Though I also need to get mine shaft shaft mining. Hmm. I've got a lot of decisions to make. Our government is no longer stable. The landowners got all their power back somehow. That's very, very sad. But we've already managed to get past all the laws that they want to keep, so I'm I'm okay with this. All right, radicals are going back down. That's good. Standard of living is still high, which is also quite nice. How close is this to incorporation? About six months left. Okay. There's 1.4k unemployed. Why are they unemployed? Demand for tools isn't high enough, I see. I'd love to build this mine shaft, but I can't yet. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's do shaft mining first and then line infantry. That'll be the path we take. Island suppression, mortality per turmoil, and state penalties for turmoil. Let's do violence suppression. For now, I don't love the mortality going up, but it, it kind of just is what it is right now. We'll just kill all the unemployed people and then they won't be radical anymore. And that'll work fine. All right, Conquer State, Rwanda, Burundi, Buganda would not involve Marina Kingdom. All right, so we can get a 1v1 
problem with them going. They've got 100 military power, and we have 172, which means we should win that also, but that's going to be a little bit more of a bloodbath than I really want to put up with. I don't want all my people to die in the course of this battle, so I think I will just begin to wait for... Yeah, we'll get shaft mining and then get the military going. That seems to be the best opportunity. Then get down to line infantry, improve our method. Tenant farming, no. Screw you. We're very close to having a border with Great Britain. I'd hope to be able to prevent that for a little bit longer at least. All right, so we're 200 military power. <sighs> Burundi's higher. We are an unrecognized regional power now, so that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna start damaging relations with Buganda because I'm gonna need to take them out in the future. Huh, that's not normal. I thought Egypt's uh, placement looked a little funny. Dang, Ottomans lost to Egypt. That is a fat L for them. How did that happen? Someone must have backed up Egypt. That's all I can say, someone must have. Okay, we've got this state incorporated now, which is solid. <sighs> I wanna get that iron mine done and I wanna get line infantry. There's so much stuff I want to do that I can't. Our barracks is building quite easily though, I will say. Uh, maybe it is time to take out Rwanda. I think we have enough troops to do one big attack and just take them out instantly. Let's do it. Yeah, let's knock them out. This should be more than enough to take them out in one big battle and not lose all of our infantry. At least I think so. In my brain, that's how that works. Irregulars, Hussar, they're building up a lot. They're not gonna have time to. Uh, is there any better general I could get? No one with good offensive bonuses. Damn. This is gonna hurt. This this is gonna hurt a little bit to attack. I'm not gonna lie. I'd, I kind of wanted to fight less people, but in the grand scheme of things, if we can take this out and then chill while line infantry researches, because that's gonna take us a hot second to get to line infantry. Great Britain's on the way, and I need to take out these states before Great Britain gets here. All right, hopefully we get a good first engagement. Excellent. That was a perfect first engagement. That was beautiful. We're gonna take hardly any casualties whatsoever. However, a lot of demoralized, but we're only losing out on about a thousand dead to crush their resistance. Good, good. That was very good for us. It's going to get us way more access to iron. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't pause for them. Crush them. Dang, we hardly lost any troops, actually. We're still almost at our max. That is excellent. Good deal. All right, conquest over. Will they accept yet? Ah, uh, give it just a few minutes. A few minutes. Same thing as always. Just always waiting for wars to finish. Um, there we go. Peace deal done. We are looking good down here and we're losing our prestige. That's fine. It's just because we lost the playwright. That's, that's perfectly fine. All right, shaft mining. Let's go. Instantly building an iron mine and then building a coal mine immediately afterwards. Military powers at 22 battalions. Uganda. Oh, Acholi is at three. Where did their military go? I don't know. Time to kill them. Uh, stop it for relations with me, you dick. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be friends. <sighs> Get expelled again. Bloop. Now we're 22 infamy just from expelling diplomats because they keep trying to be friends with me. Stop it. Everyone's getting negative. I hate all of you. All right, 1.7 million GDP is good. 1.2 million population is good. If we can get the rest of this united, we'll be in good shape. Britain's already here, so that's a little bit of a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. Britain would not get involved, though. Portugal might. That's scary. Portugal can't get to me, so that's okay. More loyalists. I'll take it. Radicals are still kind of high. That's a problem for me. Get this iron mine done. I want to move to line infantry. All right, all of our neighbors are weak now. All right, Acholi, we're at 20.1. Let's get to 19 and then go 20. Come on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. That should be fine. 4.9 infamy. We'll stay right below the 25 threshold. Let's deploy them to the front, take them out. They're already incorporated, so all we got to do is just move in, take all their people. They've got how much population? Uh, None, actually no population. A Choli and a Koli shall finally form in unison and we will be happy and it's like a Dragon Ball something and, it, and then we're more powerful. I don't know how that works, but yeah, you, you get it. You get it. Conquest time. Let's go. Navigation unlocked. Cool. I don't really care. They're docks. Docks. We don't have any. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Institutions, laws. We're going to need to go colonization soon. It's way down there. 
our international relations will have to get done soon also. All right, just crush them. Easy victory for us. Love to see it. Okay, good deal. And we win. How does demobilize them? We'll be good on profit again. And standard of living is 12.5. Excellent. Dang, we're actually making a pretty decent amount of people from birth rate. I like it. Number 74 in total population. That's going to go up a little bit more once we take a Choli. It's an extra 100,000, which isn't a lot really. But once we get Buganda and Burundi, we'll be in much better position. All right, even further, even more GDP. Things are looking pretty good for us right now. Britain kind of likes us. I'd love to get some sort of like, actually join their customs union. That would be sick. All right, so they got 14 troops and they've got 16 troops. How many troops do I have? I got 30. Let's go. Military power going up. Yeah, no, I'd love to join the British market. Though, I feel like some of my troops or my uh, people might leave. They would. So maybe we don't do that? Hmm. Yeah, the migration, they would, they would migrate away. That would be very, very bad for me. All right, let's chill on infamy just a little bit. We'll take out Buganda next. Their total mill power is 168. What is ours? 312. So yeah, that's an easy win for us. And then that finishes off that state. And then what do we do? We're about to be surrounded by Great Britain. I would love to push up into the north, but I don't know if I'm going to beat them in time. Two million GDP, though. That's not bad. I'm I'm content with that. All right, so we've almost got Dragoons and Corsairs and Professional Army as a law we can pass. We kind of ran out of laws to pass. I'm going to be honest. We ain't got nothing we can do right now. I wish these guys had a formable nation down here. That would be really nice. All right, so there's military drill done. So we got to wait 34 months for line infantry. And that'll boost our military power by quite a bit. Dang, 12.3 standard of living. I like it. 20,000 troops per year. Not troops, people, population. That's pretty good for us. That is actually really, really nice. All right, do I attack Buganda yet? What's the infamy cost to attack? They are still cordial towards us, so we gotta wait a second. Now they're improving relations. And they're really gonna make me expel their diplomats to beat them. All right, that's gonna suck if I have to do that. I don't wanna do that, but I will if I have to. Keep that in mind, I will do it if I have have to. Conquer State Burundi would be seven infamy and no one would get involved. Actually, Buganda might. Hmm. Let's chill for a second. Let's chill for a second. Okay, so do we have population? And there's no arable land there and there's a little bit of arable land here, so we'll build it up. Get rid of the peasants. There's no peasants. Interesting. All right, overview. Infrastructure's bad here, so actually, 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 we are going to not build those because infrastructure is bad. Not until we get road maintenance. Actually, do we have road maintenance? Uh, we do not have road maintenance, actually. That is depressing. Great Britain is just all in my business right now, and I am not a fan. They'd almost let me join their customs union, which, I don't know. I might do, I might not. I'm not sure if I want to yet. I feel like all my pops would migrate away if I were to do that, especially into this state right here with a high migration attraction. Eh, just from colonial resettlement. That's bad for me. It is very, very bad for me. No institutions can be upgraded. There's nobody working in this iron mine dam. You know, I don't think we have time to wait for line infantry, actually, so we're just gonna go ahead and conquer Burundi down here. It's gonna be a little bit more of a fight than I really want to give them, but we're kind of desperate at this point, to be honest. Let's give these guys a general so they don't all die on impact. All right, hopefully Buganda doesn't get involved, and if they do, I can probably Probably just conquer their state as well get it all done all at once yeah it looks like it's not gonna matter all right mobilize to the front and honestly you guys get mobilized too just so we can push in a little bit faster we'll hurt them big time down here this is gonna be a little bit more of a fight than i'm really wanting to fight i'm gonna be honest stop damaging relations there prove relations up here again and these guys now hate us so that's good because we'll be able to fight them in the future this is gonna be our biggest battle but this shouldn't even be that hard of a fight if i'm honest all right, 20 on 14, it's even odds. Um, that honestly shouldn't be that bad. <sighs> hmm, we're getting very demoralized. I don't know why we're getting so demoralized. Uh, they got dug in and now we're retreating. That's bad. Hmm, that is kind of bad. I'm gonna let you pause for a second. Um, you should win that. Quit being dug in, get out of the hole, and fight me like a man. Yeah, break your supply lines in half, rapid advance. All right, there we go. Now we're winning. 
Let's get it. Let's get her done. This is a victory for the Ancoli Empire. Toot, toot. Get on the Ancoli train. All right, so once we push down in here, we'll also be able to take all these troops and turn them right around immediately into Buganda. And this is a victory for us. More troops always wins, sometimes, unless it doesn't. In which case, oh, what is happening? Um, Why do you guys just start losing so badly? All right, well, you're going on defend for now, I guess because we just lost a bunch of troops to something. Uh, how many troops do they have? They've only got 5k. This is going to suck to break through. All right, so you've got, wait a second, wait a second. We're gonna build up faster than they can. I wanna crush them in one fell swoop. I don't wanna take needless casualties. We'll crush them in one big battle is what we'll do. <sighs> do I advance? What's their army makeup? So they've got 6,000 all together. You go on offense, you go on offense. That should win out, I think. 26 on 14. There we go. That's that's the numbers we needed to see. Hell yeah. About even death odds, which means, dang, we're just going to run out of troops altogether now. I think I can replenish my troops faster, though, so we win. 23 defense? Why do you have 23 defense? You're running a regular? What? Uh, 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 huh? Says, when do irregulars defend that good? They don't. Poor visibility. Why is yours so high? Armed forces, patriotic fervor, defense. Defend front, good visibility, and veteran. Dude, that's some BS. Oh, we're gonna get stuck in this war forever. That was stupid. Ouch. That hurt. Are they gonna push me now? No, they're not. Uh, build up our troops faster than them and we'll eventually win, maybe? Population. Uh, this is going to be a struggle. This was not supposed to be a struggle, but it's being a struggle, and I hate it. All right, you know what? You know what? Here's what we'll do. I'm going to drop this, which is going to make a bunch of people need a job, and they're all going to come to the barracks, which is currently hiring, right? Maybe that's how that works. Maybe it's not. I think it is, though, and I'm going to hope that it is, though. Uh, we are struggling. We are struggling. This was not supposed to be that bad. They're up to 20 troops. Mm. All right, don't worry about it. We got nine months to line infantry. Oh, there. Hey, yo. No, you don't get to push in and just win that. What are you doing? Why do they have more offensive power? Than Why is my defense only six? What is this? Huh? Okay, I get the panicked retreat thing, but like you're only 11, 18 on Hussars. We should not be losing this battle. We had to, to double your troops. There's no way. Bro, there's no way. Fine, we'll peace out normally like a bitch. Fuck you, Burundi. That's some bullshit. All right, all right, okay. Well, that went terribly. Uh, we're gonna get our revenge as soon as we get our damn line infantry and we are going to mass murder everyone in that state. You don't, you don't tell me no, don't tell me no. All right, well, everyone's gotta go get <sighs> new jobs now and watch I'm gonna be already back up. Screw you, man. 71 military power. And they've got 67. They really just, they were, really, really? We have the same type of troops. Why are yours veterans and super good and mine just suck? Okay, da, 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 da. screw you, man. I'm gonna take a Buganda later though, because all my troops are dead. That was a mistake. I should have just waited for line infantry. I'm so impatient with this game. It's already 1860, bro. This is taking forever. Ah. Okay, well, five months on this. It's gonna take us goddamn forever. <sighs> we'll shift everybody over. We've got 110 mil power power now. We're so much less than them. These guys, how are they able to put up the same rate of troop building as we are? We have 1.4 million and they're able to like pump up their numbers just as fast as we can. That doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't get it. I do not understand. Hurry up and get trained everyone. We're about to move on to line infantry and then we're going to attack Burundi again and murder them all. I've been royally cucked this match. Uh, my damn truce is four more years 1861 i hate it i'm mad i'm angry i'm gonna take it out on buganda come on give me what i need please hurry thank you thank you thank you thank you three weeks hurry up i'm i'm very impatient right now two weeks 14 days hurry up all right line infantry done upgrade all we're moving up in the world i'm about to put on the hurt on all of my neighbors can i import nope i don't know how to import yet okay uh my buildings uh, should get some people here for the arms industry since they're really expensive now and iron come on guys get in the iron mine and start making me more iron i need iron come on come on you gonna you gonna shift over come on one person there's one person working here and in the mine there's 39 people okay i'd love to get more it looks like we're not going
going to. Military goods for military buildings. Uh, we're gonna go broke trying this. Come on, guys. We've, we've got an iron mine. Go down into it. Why is the coal mine? Coal mine's got 50k. What if it's a bidet? Go to the iron mine. I need iron way more than I need coal. I will delete the coal mine. I will delete this if you consistently want to go there. All right. All right. Screw you. Go to the iron mine. Work in the iron mine. I need iron badly. Go get a job in the iron mine. Now. No one's going to the iron mine. Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. Never mind. There we go. All right. The laborers from the coal mine are now going to the iron mine, which is going to give me the iron I need in order to build these damn guns. All right, cool. My problem is, uh, infrastructure is a little bit above and a lot above. That's really bad, actually. Our economy cannot sustain my ambition. All right, 600 military power versus their 320. We had double last time and we got cucked. Law enforcement's unlocked. I don't care. We need to take out Buganda. Do I just do it? I'm just doing it. Screw it. We are going in with our, oh, everyone's uh, rehired now. Kill them all. I don't care. They deserve death. Everyone in this game deserves death. They dare to challenge my authority. We're going to demolish them. I don't care. 23. I'm going to screw you. Burundi, you're next. Don't think you're not. You are next. I'm coming for you. I will remember what you did to me. You have essentially assured that I will not be able to break free and that the video will end as soon as I kill both of you. Because now I can't get past Great Britain because I don't have colonization fast enough because I had to get line infantry to beat you. All right. All right. I just need to kill Buganda. If I lose this war too, I'm going to be incredibly disappointed. What do these guys want? They just want war reps. No, no, no. You're dying. I don't care. Laws, laws. Can the armed forces have anything? Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Do they, how much do they want censorship? They only want it by five. Local police force by five. Dedicated police force. Let's start passing that. And then plus 10% more offense. We are going to crush you into a pulp and kill everyone. Uh, can you hurry up and kill everyone? Oh wait, they're on defensive. I'm wasting time. Push 30 on 14. Yeah, kill them all. Kill them all. All of them. All of them die. I know it's not your fault, but you screwed me earlier in the game and I would be so much further now if not for your shenanigans and defending the people that I wanted to murder. This is what you get. This is what you get. I'm going to curb stomp your face into the pavement with my... I don't even know what I'm going to do it with actually. I didn't even think that far through this whole sentence. I'm just rambling and I'm angry with guns. That's what we'll curb stomp your face into with guns. All right. Thank you very much. Conquer Buganda. No, no. Oh, you don't want to give in yet. Oh, the war's not lost yet. Dude, your entire country is under occupation. How have you not surrendered yet? You shouldn't even have the opportunity. I just get rid of you. I shoot you. you how are you going to? Huh? Dry docks. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Dry docks. Thank you. Get dry docked, you stupid Buganda. All right, that was excellent. Uh, that. And now I get to sit here and wait and probably just turn taxes up. Boom, taxes and consumption tax, tobacco. Yeah, we'll just turn this down. We'll just do the tobacco tax. That works better, actually. Uh, we have tax waste now. Yay! Censorship. Piss off. I want to kill Burundi. That is my goal for this video is to murder Burundi now. That is it. That's my whole goal. I, I, th that's it. That's all I want to do. I murdered Buganda, who screwed me in the beginning of the game. Uh, we have no infrastructure whatsoever. We can't get to uh, railways yet because we can't even do any tier two technologies. We're just going to be stuck sitting here forever and ever and ever and ever forever. Government administration building. Uh, the infrastructure is terrible. It's minus 47. Um, we're still losing money, even though I added the consumption tax. So let's add another consumption tax. Boom! Now we have money again. This is beautiful. Discord with the landowners will pass the law. Yes. 3 million GDP. Um, the top one. We've got so many radicals in the country now. It's fine. It's fine. This state is Uganda. Okay, that's cool. And what is this other state? Ah, uh, what is it? Enkonda. Enkondrikia. Ooh, ooh. Tangi. I can't read that. That is too small. All right. 
Um, I'm just waiting till 1861 to murder Burundi. And then honestly, at that point, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I think I just like voluntarily become Great Britain's protectorate. That might just be it. Uh, join Customs Union. I would love to. I would love to join the uh, British Customs Union, but I haven't figured out how to talk to people yet. That's just not a thing I figured out. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll figure it out here in about 14 months. G give me a year, Great Britain. I'll figure out how to talk to you. Just, 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 just hold on one second. One second. Oh yeah, I forgot I got rid of the coal mine. Never mind, we're not doing that. All right, there's a dedicated police force, which means we have even less of that. Uh, we have like a little bit of tax waste, but I, it don't really matter. And Koli shall murder Burundi. This is the only thing I am certain of at this point. <gasps> we got a notification. Uh, training pays off. Let's go. For two years? I like it. I'm pretty sure that uh, that's when my peace treaty with uh, Burundi wears off. And then, yeah, uh-huh. No, I want the information on this and then the diplomacy and the truce is 23 months so we'll get like two months of being able to do this actually we're just gonna let that we're just gonna wait until we get to hit that at the very last date possible so we get as much extra offense and defense as possible that'll work <gasps> i got nationalism wait never mind that's not nationalism that's international relations i just figured out how to talk to people all right i can't have isolationism to join their thing um can i do any of these no yes I gotta have the industrialists and not the rural folk in charge, but there are no industrialists. They all died. Damn. Oh, well. Britain. Defensive pack? Maybe. No, you hate me. Ah, that is very unfortunate. I suppose I'll just go shove it up my ass and kill myself. Beautiful. We have but 15 months left until I can murder Burundi. This is excellent. Yay. Ah, tis now 14 months. I'm very happy about this information. This is utterly splendid, amigo. Amigo? Me no hablo de español. Me hablo inglés. Stupido. A foreign manifesto? What is this? A political struggle? Oh, national supremacy? Oh, no, 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 no. I take political movement radicalism. Yes, sir. Hoorah. Hoorah. Absolutely. Who is this stupid? Stupid. Oh, wait, no, hold on. What did I see? I saw stupid baby. It's not you. You're 38. No, you're 65. Fuck you. I'm a D. Abugnawa. You're not as cool as me. I am Kessiunga Nicole. Excellent. I want to murder! Stop having a truce. I want to kill you. You made me mad and I need emotional support murder to kill you and then make me feel better about myself. This is all your fault, Burundi. I blame you for this terrible situation I'm in. As soon as I murder you, I don't even know what I'm doing. I, I don't think I can do anything else. Britain is just going to give me a big hug of friendship. That's what they're doing right now. You see all this like looping all the way around my country and all the way below it? That's called friendship. Great Britain wants to be big friends with me. Uh, we'll go with that. Um, it makes me feel better about my terrible situation and how honestly I kind of failed in this run. But I'm gonna kill Burundi! April. It's April. Your time is ticking down, Burundi. You better kiss all your loved ones goodbye. Give them all hugs because you're dying. I will kill you for not dying earlier. 1861. We got seven months left. Seven months. Seven. Ooh. Only seven. I can count that on my fingers. <gasps> it's down to six. We go from seven to six. <gasps> it's five. <sighs> Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up and run the game. We get till November. Five months left. Mongbetu. Mongala. Lega. Hemba. Luba. Cuba. Waka. No. Yaka. Lunda. Kazembe. Bemba. Hee hee. <sighs> How long left? How long left? We got 13 weeks. Uh-oh, Burundi. Bad things gonna happen to you. 11 weeks, I'm counting it down. It's like Christmas, but like with a lot more murder and devious intent. Eight weeks left. Come on, come on. You can you can travel just a little bit faster than that. I know you can. Come on, time. I'm, I'm impatient right now. Seven weeks left. Ooh, seven weeks. Oh, six weeks. 
Come on, come on. Five weeks, five weeks. Come on, I'm going to murder you, Burundi. Yeah, 328 military power. Say hello to 900. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Four weeks. Mm -hmm. Three weeks. Better go do anything you want to do beforehand because it's going to be over. It's going to be so over. Two weeks left, two weeks left. 15 days. 13, 12, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's murder time. Boop. I don't even care if anyone's going to get involved. I'm not even going to check. All right, all right. Mobilize. Get to the front. Round two, baby. You you thought you had me in the first half? You did. But what you didn't know is that I was coming forth a vengeance. You never knew. You never saw it coming. War reps? War reps? That's what you want out of this? You want war reps? You ain't gonna have nothing left to rep on the war. Pillage. What does pillage do? Battle occupation, morale damage, and kill rate? Let's pillage. Pillage the shit out of it. everything. All right, Burundi, how many more days left you got? How many more days? Oh, 40 days? You got a month left? You got a month left in existence, and then you are mine. Come on, come on. There we go. Two arms. Get them. Dismantle them. Destroy them. I don't want to see a single Burundian left standing. Yeah, yeah, you tough stuff. You think you're tough now? This is what you get for smacking me in the face earlier when all I was trying to do was completely annex your country. You should have just let me do it. It's going to be much better than what I'm going to do to you this time yep yep come on yeah but where's that fight now huh where's that fight at hmm hmm where's your where's your veteran troops and your good visibility i, I see your good visibility i got poor visibility and i'm still whooping your ass yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. losing power man. i don't give a shit yeah, seven defense. That's what I thought. Where are your troops at? Where are your troops at, Burundi? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. You can't do anything to me. Stock exchange. I don't give a shit. Oh, we got steel working. The only steel I need to work is that big iron on my hip. 25, 13 defense. You can't do anything. You got 4,000 troops left, and they ain't gonna put up a fight at all. It's over. Good day. Actually, terrible day. I hate you. Die. Oh, look at that. You already are. Wow, you're so generous to just die like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, any day now, Busta. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, I see that negative 65, negative 81. And you still will give it because you think you got a chance. I'm just going to let it play out all the way. Negative 97. I'm going to go negative 100. And you're just going to give me everything I want. Good day, sir. All right. Well, um, all right. So actually, let's take a look here at all of our internal stuff now. We actually almost have 5 million GDP, which is actually kind of a lot. Um, yeah, that's number 29 in the world. That's actually not bad. Uh, literacy rates, number 51. Okay, okay. Uh, standard of living is not bad. Population's not bad. Everything's not bad, actually. Um, I hate to break it to you guys, but there's nothing else we can do in this one. <laughs> we can go colonizing, but that's gonna be just about it. Um, we took way too long to get everything consolidated around here because Uganda wanted to get in my way to no, 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 you're not gonna attack them. Nope. So, yeah, now we're stuck here with, um, um, in the loving embrace of Great Britain, who definitely has our best interest in mind. Yeah, I think this one's done. Um, yeah, that's gonna conclude this episode. Um, I, I did, I messed up quite a few times. I could have done way better earlier on, but I didn't. I failed. It's okay, though, because, uh, I'm gonna move on to the next video. <laughs> I don't want to play in this region anymore, but we got like two nations in here that start with B, so we're going to be back. Once we get to Buganda, that's when we're going to throw hands. We're going to take over everything. We will take over Ethiopia as Buganda. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry bitterly. But anyway, that's going to conclude this episode. Um, I know none of you learned anything from this episode because I played terribly. <laughs> but hopefully it was enjoyable. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.